Hello, my name is Dominik Schillinger. I'm a researcher who specializes in computational science and engineering, working at the Leibniz University in Hanover, Germany. As a child, I wanted to become a farmer, fascinated by the different types of machinery used on a farm. Obviously, I didn't become a farmer, but as an engineer, I'm still fascinated to combine different types of computational machinery to solve challenging problems. I still vividly remember that on November 9th, 1989, I was sitting with my parents in front of the TV watching happy people dancing on the Berlin Wall. Today, computational models are widely applied across all fields of engineering to simulate complex physical problems virtually on the computer. A salient example is virtual crash test simulation in the automobile industry that has greatly contributed to improving driver safety. Significant research efforts have also been invested to develop similar computational tools that can accurately predict complex physiological processes in the human body. The goal has been a change of paradigm in public health care. Medical doctors would utilize the results of predictive simulations to better understand and design personalized treatment plans for an individual patient. In today's clinical practice, however, patient-specific simulations are still largely absent. One of the major reasons is the intricate process of building patient-specific computational models based on the anatomy of the individual patient encoded in diagnostic imaging data. The organ of interest has to first be identified and extracted, then its surface has to be reconstructed, the corresponding geometric parametrization has to be cleaned up and finally transferred into a computational mesh. Due to this fragmented workflow, Patient-specific simulations require the direct intervention of a specially trained analyst. The associated cast and response times, however, do not fit into many clinical processes characterized by tight budgets and urgent decision-making. To initiate large-scale adoption of patient-specific simulations in clinical practice, a new generation of imaging through analysis tools is needed that can be reliably run in hospitals. For such tools, automation of the process of building patient-specific computational models constitutes a fundamental prerequisite. To meet the challenge of automation, new computational methods need to be developed that enable a seamless integration of procedures from image processing, biomedical modeling, and numerical methods. Our core idea is to use one single computational mesh and the underlying finite element technology for all these tasks, naturally linking image analysis and physiology-based simulation. We derive that mesh directly from the raw imaging data by assigning one hexahedral element to each voxel. Each element in the mesh is directly informed by imaging data, for instance, to calibrate multi-scale material models. Osteoporosis is a progressive bone disease which leads to an increased risk of fracture. Osteoporosis-related fractures seriously impact the lives of those affected, increasing pain, disability, nursing home placement, and mortality. The reliable identification of patients at risk before fracture actually occurs remains a central challenge to clinicians. Based on our automation concept, we have developed the simulation framework that can autonomously transfer CT imaging data into an accurate and reliable simulation-based fracture risk index. Due to its full automation, it can run within the computing unit of a CT scanner itself, rendering the simulation-based fracture risk index cost-effective. The integration into the CT scanner enables opportunistic osteoporosis screening for anyone undergoing a CT improving the detection of patients at high risk of an osteoporotic fracture early on. Many biomedical models are much more complicated than bone fracture. For instance, we are currently working on a model for predicting the growth of tumors in the human liver, which includes multiple physics as well as multiple length and time scales. 
how models of that complexity could be moved beyond research and made usable in clinical practice is still an unresolved question.